Welcome to the live stream. We'll be playing American style at Mahjong time. If you don't already know how to play American style, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist and some course strategy, some other strategy down there. And also, if you want to come and try out Mahjong time, there's a link below there so that you can join. I do have some 30-day VIP coupon codes so you can try it out for free. Those are available on a limited time though. So uh, this video was filmed on August 5th, 2018. By the time you see the video, I may or may not have those codes. So if you're interested, send me an email and I will return a code so you can come and play. My email is in the video description. So I'm gonna turn on live streaming now. We'll welcome everybody in the room. If you're watching the repost, thank you so much for coming to my channel and checking out some Mahjong gameplay. It really is a lot of fun. I enjoy Mahjong time very much. It's my favorite platform. I've tried many and this is the only place I play. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. Welcome to the live stream. Let's see, here we go. I feel a little bit rusty. I haven't done a live stream it feels like in a little while. So Oh, I guess I better get my card too. For American style, if you don't know, it uses a card that's issued every year. And the hands on the card are kind of prescribed, I guess you could say. They're allowed hands for any given year. So you wanna have that in front of you when you play. At least it would be helpful unless you have it memorized. And I do somewhat because I do all those exercises, but Um, it's still good to have open. Okay, let's see here. It seems that we are live. Welcome to the live stream. Say hi in chat so I know it's functioning. There we go. Miss T. Hi, Miss T. I'm testing chat myself. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing American style tonight. It's the first Sunday. I do a live stream every Sunday unless something comes up like a family situation or travel or what have you. But um, tonight's live stream will be for American style. We'll be playing at Mahjong time. Welcome to the live stream. So glad you came. I hope I do well. I haven't been able to play very much because I've been filming. I am going out of town on Friday. I'm going to Santa Barbara, thanks to Jamie Joy Throgmorton, my new friend on the West Coast. She's uh, made it possible for me to go to a charity tournament there on Saturday, so I'm leaving on Friday and I won't be returning until Tuesday, so I will not be doing a live stream next Sunday. So the Hong Kong style live stream will be skipped for this month. And then I'll be back on live stream schedule for the following Sunday, which will be American style again. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Josephine. Chris and Alieska, welcome. Oh, Chris, that's okay. Don't worry at all. I record these and they will be posted on YouTube. So if you wanna watch the repost, you can catch it on the other side. Welcome to the live stream, everybody. I don't know if you saw it, but I posted a channel update. Um, just thanking everybody for their continued support and watching my videos and that thanks go to you too, watching my live streams and coming and hanging out with me. So grateful for the community we're building and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. It would be all for naught without you. So anyway, check out those channel updates because I did a part one and a part two. 
there's a new feature in in YouTube that allows for some uh, paid subscriptions where you can support the channel if you so choose no pressure at all Oh, I am so excited. Kathleen, um, I am a beach person, so I am, I just can hardly stand it. I packed my bags about a week and a half ago. Everything is sitting up there ready to go. And I'm going to, for the first time, travel with carry-on only. I'm going to have a tiny little r roller bag, under seat bag, and a backpack. And that's all I'm going to bring. So I had to do a capsule wardrobe, be really smart with my packing, and I crammed everything in there, and it worked. So <laughs> it was an interesting experience. Hi, Jan. Welcome to the live stream. So anyway, I am so excited, and my excitement is overriding my fear of flying. So I am going to be very nervous and anxious because... I have to do a layover. I'm going to be on a layover going there and coming back. So I have to get on two planes each time. So I'm very nervous and it just makes my stomach turn. I really don't like flying. Oh yeah, the, the charity is for a no-kill dog shelter. And we actually have a rescue from a, a dog shelter. I think the one that we had was a not so good dog shelter we got our little doggy in a nick of time let me just say that hi cheryl i think i i recognize your name i've seen you i think on these live streams before have i not from south carolina i'm going to be traveling there too in november i think so i'm so excited to meet some of the viewers for my channel it's an amazing opportunity and i hope to meet more and more oh yeah i've arranged with somebody in um destin florida to play mahjong down there too when we go there for christmas vacation so it's just amazing how there are so many opportunities to meet each other even though we meet met like in cyberspace we're going to meet in real life. I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> that Cheryl. Wait, oh, I know who you are now. You're the one who traveled. She tra Cheryl travels all the way from South Carolina to come down to the Atlanta area to visit family. And so when she's down here, she plays Mahjong with us. And we met the last time she was in town. I remember now, I'm so sorry. I confused you with another group where I'm going to go spend uh, a weekend with a group in, um, I think, South Carolina. It's either South Carolina or North Carolina, I forget. So anyway, um, hi, Patricia. Welcome to the live stream. Why don't we go ahead and join this table and get the party started? How's everybody doing um, with the card? Is everybody comfortable with it? Any struggles? Any... Um, Let's see, pain points, I guess. It seems like every year there are certain hands that cause anxiety. So, oh, you know what? I wanted to show everybody something. Look what I got. You see that? It's a handmade Mahjong card. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. It's kind of multimedia. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. And I got that card from Diane Fitzpatrick. She made that card. It's just so creative and adorable. I absolutely love it. So Diane, thank you. And then I also got another little gift in the mail. I'm so humbled by this. Look at this. This is vintage material with a little, well, I don't know if the material is vintage, the button. The button is vintage. See that button there? 
This is a card holder and it was handmade and sent to me by Karen um, Bowes. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but even her, her little thank you card is absolutely gorgeous. I actually got chills by the card. It's like a vellum. It's just beautiful. Anyway, I, I was just so touched that those ladies thought of me to send a little gift. Look at that. It's so pretty. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. Those ladies were very sweet to do that. So thank you very much. We're still waiting for a player. What city? Um, let me think here. I have it in my calendar. Let me look. Let's see here. I'm going to be staying. It's going to be a private game. Um, oh, we're getting started. Okay, Sullivan's Island, South Carolina. Sullivan's Island, South Carolina. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can play. I, and when I have played recent, you know, sort of lately, terrible losing streak again. Okay, I, we have multiples in twos and eights in bands, so I think a two, four, six, eight is in order. And we even have a green dragon. I'm going to save that green dragon. So let's get rid of the seven west. And let's get rid of, um, let's see, six, seven, eight. There is some consecutive run here. Let's get rid of this four dot, I guess. Okay, so let me check out uh, chat. Uh, everyone's feed is freezing on and off. Or is it just, oh, I don't know. Can you all comment? Just tell... Um, Let's see, uh, pe uh, Chris, how your performance is. Is anybody having bad performance? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these other tiles here because we do have some like number potential here with twos. And I do like like numbers. I like like numbers. Uh, let's see here, um, Chris, I don't know yet. Oh, someone else's is frozen. My performance is fine, so it may be on your end, I'm afraid. I don't know yet. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Peggy says, we're so excited to have you visit us. Oh, Peggy's the Sullivan's Island one. I'm so excited. I really am so excited. Okay, so here we go with another pass. We're going to focus on 2468 or... Like numbers with twos, we'll see. Okay, so keep me posted on the performance. You may need to shut your browser down or maybe um, do you have any other programs running? Because that may affect performance also. We got a four bam, I'm keeping it. Let's go ahead and give up on the consecutive run and we have three tiles we can pass. So we're gonna pass. We have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. I think we should go ahead and give up a two because I do not want to pass like numbers. So let's go and go ahead and pass. Let's see here. Let's keep the three crack. That way, if we get everything we want, we can pass a two dot and a three crack. I, I believe in passing defensively. Some people don't care what they pass, but I do. I do care. I like to set myself up for success and still pass defensively. If I'm really close to a hand, though, I will, I may send off a dangerous pass. You know, like two wins together or t two dragons. But, oh, man, that just makes me cringe. So we're going to pass. Let's go ahead and pass a 3-8. I don't think there's anything that uses a 3-8. Okay, off it goes. Okay. So a few people are saying, Jan says everything's fine. Hmm, okay, well, let's hope that it, it improves. Okay, we have no keepers, so we're gonna go ahead and pass. Hi, Irene, welcome to the live stream. I'm glad you're here too. Wish me luck because I have, um, have been on a bit of a losing streak. Hmm. Somebody just passed a dragon. That's okay. I'm not going to forward that probably. 
we have tiles that we can pass, no problem. Oh, they want two? That's fine. They can have an east and a four. Okay, here we go. If you're just joining the live stream, we're playing American style Mahjong at Mahjong time. If you haven't tried Mahjong time yet, I do have some 30 day VIP codes that you can use to get used to the game and see if you like it. I have a limited number, so if you're interested, send me an email and I'll reply with a code. If you already have an account and want to upgrade temporarily to a 30 day code, you just need to send me an email with your avatar name and I can have them convert it but from the back end. Thank you for the good luck wish. I need it because like I say, I've been on a bit of a losing streak. And I have a theory about that. I think I posted it on my Facebook page. So if you're interested, search for skill versus luck and losing streak and you'll see a little post there. I think I might even have put a, a document on um, the files page just in case somebody wanted to share it with their group. But I've talked a lot about it and I've thought a lot about losing streaks and skill versus luck. And what I think too is chance is involved and chance and luck are different. So anyway, check that out if you'd like. So we're playing probably the 2468 concealed hand. We've got the pair of dragons secured. So I'm thinking the 2468 concealed hand. I need to get rid of these other dragons, I think. We'll probably get rid of those next, followed by the eight crack. I like to try to get rid of the big ear tiles if I can early. Okay, that's a good one to discard then. We'll get rid of the dragons first. So this is a concealed hand. Hopefully the drawing will go well. That would be a pass. And there wasn't too much of a hesitation at the table for that one. So I don't think that's gonna be a good tile for jokers at all. I think I will get rid of the crack first though, the crack, the red dragon. And then the four and the six, those are good discards. Yeah, that six, they're all out now after I discard the last one, of course. We'll get rid of the cracks here. What I like to do is get rid of tiles that are being discarded and hold fresh tiles to the end of the third wall. They're not technically joker bait, but if you hold fresh tiles that you know you're not gonna use, you may be able to get a joker out of them. So that's one thing that I've been doing lately. It's getting rid of those tiles that are being discarded or exposed, saving fresh tiles, for potential joker switches. It works sometimes, so it's worth a try. Um, you can't hear the discards. Yes, I can turn my computer up. Hold on, let me try that. Let me know if that's better. I don't want it to be too loud. Can you hear me okay? Oh, we got a keeper. Okay, Six you can't hear the... Di okay, can you hear now, Jan? Or should I go up more? Oh, that was one of the tiles needed for this hand. You can hear me, Nine but you can't... Okay, I turned up the sound on my computer. Can you hear it better? North wind. I don't want it to be too awful loud because then it's... Nine dots. Okay, thank you, uh, Kathleen. What about the sound from the computer, the discards? Can you hear that? Maybe if I turn this a little bit. 
There goes another four bam. I think we're going to need that joker by the four bam. One bamboo. Oh, we got another keeper. Two characters. Can't hear discards either, but everyone else is okay. All right, hold on. Let me see here. Maybe if I put my mic down a little lower and turn it. Let's try that. Let me know if that's better. Five you know what? Some people don't say the name of the Three tile characters. when they discard it. Do any of you play with groups that do that? Everybody I play with names the discard. It's kind of an American yeah. thing, but Asian versions typically don't Eight declare characters. discards. They just toss the tile out, and you're on your own. One you dot. have to watch the table in order to know what was discarded. Oh! Oh no, we don't need that. Eight characters. Uh, setting on Mahjong time for the volume since Mahjong. last update. There's a volume setting in Mahjong time? Mahjong. Uh-oh. Okay, somebody won. All right, we have 5779, seven, big odds. Um, they had a couple of jokers, uh, which is nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, this player here, this would be West. They were playing probably the, well, it looks like they were, they had a lot of flowers, so I think they might have been struggling uh, between hands. I think that they might have been trying for the 369 one suit Kong hand, the fourth one down. They also could have been trying for the 369 third one down. The problem is all those flowers. If I were them, I would have switched to like numbers with threes and six flowers. What about you? What would you have done with this one? I would have switched to like numbers completely, maybe even a quint. I wonder what else they had during the play. Okay, and then uh, let's see. South was playing. It looks like they were trying for a year hand. Uh, four flowers, 2018, they had no white dragons. They may have been straddling like numbers with twos and six flowers. Okay. So Kathleen says they could hear the discards and they can see them as well. Okay. All right. Well, let's move along to the next game. Let's see if we can get into another table. Okay. I don't see one, so I'm going to go ahead and join. Let's see here. We'll join the five second auto pass. If you have a Mahjong Time account, come and play. It looks like we need some players. Oh, Miss Travelbug, she's a good player. Okay, here we go. We have Plet. Plet is Peggy. All right. Let's see how we do this time. Let's hope for good tiles at the beginning. I hope. Uh oh. No jokers. Maybe we could play a pair hand. Let's see here. We have a lot of big odds. I'm thinking big odds. We even have a pair of nine dots. Let's try to play big odds. So that means we can probably get rid of, let's go ahead and get rid of the green six bam four dot. Okay, here we go, big odds. We're gonna leverage the nine dots. I think it's the strongest strategy to leverage multiples if you're new to my channel, I believe that is the strongest strategy. It has the best results more times than not. Maybe I could do a hand using maximum usage where we don't worry about the multiples and just go with whatever we have the most of and we can compare results. So here we have some odds, but they're little, little odds. We're focused on big odds. I don't know if you have seen, well, I'm sure you've noticed, but maybe you haven't, I don't know. But there are, let me see here, one, two, 
there are, are actually three hands on the card that span one, three, five, seven, nine. Otherwise, the hands are either five, seven, nine, or one, three, five, which is what I call big odds and little odds. So that's why I'm playing big odds. We don't need to keep the little ones because we're heavy on the big side. So here we have a five, seven, seven, nine possibility leveraging the two multiples. That would be the uh, second hand down. So we need one tile to discard here. Five, seven, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, and one suit as a possibility with the nines as joker bait. Let's get rid of the seven ban. Um, high Ket Lansky, discard volume much lower than past live streams. Connection is poor. Oh gosh, I'm sorry tonight. Tonight seems to have gremlins. Maybe we should just go for an hour tonight and then I can figure out what the technical problems are. I don't know why the sound would be different because nothing has changed on my end. My son helped me with a connectivity issue with my microphone. I've been having a little trouble with that, but it seems like let me try this. Let me put it down a little lower and turn it and see if that helps. Can you still hear me okay? Mercury in retrograde. I have heard about that problem before. I had a friend who was into all that kind of stuff and she would always do weird things in the office anytime there was this Mercury in retrograde thing. Um, so I, I found it fascinating, but I don't know if I believe it or not. All right, can you, well, we'll wait uh, for the game to start and you guys can tell me if you can hear the discards better. Can you hear me okay still since I moved my mic? Okay, let's go ahead and give up on the nine bam. I don't wanna pass two wins together. With news on the card, I don't like passing two wins together. It's almost as bad as passing a pair. Oh, no keepers. But we do have discards. We have discards. Is anybody else having performance issues? Any lagging? Any hang-ups? Locking up? What have you? No keepers, and we can pass three safely. Oh, they only went two. If they only went two, I think I'll pass a south and a two bam. Seems okay now, no more freezing. What about the audio? Can you hear me okay since I lowered my mic? Okay, we're ready to start the game. We have five discards. Six dis... No, we have like seven discards. This was terrible. This was a terrible Charleston. Sounds wary. Okay. Let me turn that up just in West a little wind. teeny bit. Two bamboos. Okay, Josephine says the sound is fine. Green dragon. Two All right. bamboos. And the tile, uh, the discards, can you all hear the discards okay? East wind. Oh, we got a pair. I'm gonna keep that for Joker Why bait. Not? And yeah, I, I have not had very Two good characters. luck with Joker bait. Oh, there's a West out, nobody wanted it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Four characters. Um, nobody wanted that west. I have two. I don't think Five that's going to be good joker bait. There's the east out too and nobody took it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. West wind. Okay, Chris. So it must have been because my microphone was too high. Two dots. Uh, so I have my microphone lower to... I guess I have them lower to my speakers. Let's see. 
four characters. Okay, let's see if that helps. Seven bamboos. Get rid of the west. Nobody, west nobody wind. wants some. One bamboo. Two dots. So we're going to try to play probably the second hand down under Five odds. Dots. We really don't have to pick a hand right now because North we do have wind. discards. But I think if I were to pick a hand, we're probably closest to that because that's leveraging the multiples. We are, Five you know, maybe not too far away from the Kong Five hand, bamboo. the one suit Kong hand. We got a joker. One character. Okay, we're going to have to make a choice pretty soon. If any of these Three tiles characters. go down, I might need to Pong or Kong. I'm thinking we're closest to the five seven seven nine two suit hand. Second one down. Three bamboos. I wish I could show you the card. I've called the league and they said Four no. Bamboos. You cannot show the card in any videos. I went straight one to dot. the source and they said no. Don't do it. Four dots. So I don't. I just kind of give instructions to where the what I'm looking at on the card. So, um, and I think a, a lot of viewers have trouble. Okay, I'm going to pung it. I'm going to hmm. commit to that hand because I don't want to miss out Four on the five crack. There were already two out. Nine dots. So we're going to, we're going to commit and now we're going to need another joker. Um, Three characters. Okay, I'll look at that, Alieska, when we get there. Thank you. One bamboo. Sure. Oh, there's a pair of threes. Six there are two characters. out, though. I don't think anybody wants them. Um, so anyway, a lot of people ask me, what hand am I playing? What hand am I playing? But Five if you're new bamboo. to my channel, I usually don't pick a hand until I run out of discards. I stay at the category level as long as possible. Once I run out of discards, that's when I pick a hand. So I believe you do not have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. Now, if you're in the pick and discard phase of the game and discards are going down that you could potentially use, Eight you may be boots. forced to pick a hand. But more times than not, you can discard all your Nine unwanted characters. tiles and stay at the category level. Nine characters. All right, so after this game, we'll go to settings and we'll West check that, that audio setting. Seven dots. We need a joker and seven dots and one just went down. Oh, shoot. Red dragon. One character. Yeah, I don't think this these three cracks are going to help. If nothing else, three they're going to be safe, I think. You never know. Maybe somebody wasn't ready for the three cracks that already Six went down. Bamboos. We will find out eventually, Come. though. Okay, there's a joker available Seven with the six bamboos. spam. We'll see. Uh, this, I'm definitely behind the curveball here. Nine or characters. is it behind the black? Are we behind Eight the black dots. ball or are we behind a curve ball? Were we given a curve ball or are we behind a black ball? I have no idea. Uh, we're not in a good position. Let me just say that. Two characters. I need to get rid of this white dragon. I don't know why I've been holding One on to bamboo. it. I should have discarded this a long time ago. There's one out, so it's not a big One deal. Dot. Oh, there's a nine dot. Nice. White dragon. Behind the eight ball. It is behind Three the eight dots. ball. We're behind the eight ball. Mahjong. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't throw it. I don't think it was me. I think they self-picked. Did they? No. Let me see. Okay. All right, so they were playing three, six, six, nine, basically the same hand that we were playing. 
only under 369. Pung Pung, Kong Kong, and they had lots of jokers. I would have been tempted to play a quint. But they had, it looks like a pung, a pung of sixes, so they were probably leveraging that. So let's see Miss Travel Bug. She's playing a 2468 hand, it looks like, but had a pung of sixes. It looks like she maybe was between consecutive run using six, seven, eight, and, and evens, but that pung might have been a hang up. Or maybe she was playing two, four, six, eight, and two suits, two, four dots, six, eight in cracks, and just couldn't get the eight crack. So she was kind of in between consecutive run and evens. I think probably an evens hand was good. Uh, let's see. So then we have over here, we have seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, this not not too good. They're kind of all over the place here. Consecutive runs, six, seven, eight, but they had a pair of dragons. If I were this player, I probably would have tried for the seven, eight Kong hand with dragons and then use the sevens as joker bait. So let's see if we can join another table. Okay, oh yeah, let's go here um, at the game sound and see. Game settings, general settings, graphics. I don't, let's see, account, my info, transactions, general, game. I don't see I don't see a slider volume in the general settings, bottom dialog. I don't see that. Let's see here. I don't see that setting. Where is it? Uh-oh. Uh, let me decline it for a minute. It was right in the middle. In the middle. I thought you said it was at the bottom. In volume slider. Okay. General. Oh, there it is. I mean, am I supposed to max it out? It's. Um, okay. I'll try it. Let's see what happens, I guess. Let me turn my volume down a little bit on the game anyway. Okay, let's give it a try again. I'm going to raise my mic up to see if you can hear me better. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, I found the setting, so let's see how it goes with the settings turned up and my mic up high so that we can get both. Oh, that's significantly louder. Okay, here we go. We have a one, a pair of ones and a pair of twos. I'm thinking we could maybe play a year hand because we do have a white dragon and a couple of wins. Let's keep the ones and twos. Okay, take what lo loud? Oh, the the game. I could always turn my mo my um, audio my own audio down. We'll see. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and keep your tiles. So we're between the year category and consecutive run. If anybody's having a hard time hearing me, please let me know. We may do this live stream for just one hour because of the technical difficulties. Okay, we did get a one. I'll keep it. We'll see. We do have tiles we can pass. So we can go ahead and keep the one crack. I, I don't pick a hand at this stage. This is kind of like what I was talking about before where I'll stay at the category level. We are in between consecutive run and the year. And we have way uh, too many options to pick a hand. 
Hi, uh, Grang. We're playing American style Mahjong at Mahjong time. Oh, we paired up the white dragon. That's nice. And the eight. So I'm thinking even though we have a gap, we could play the concealed year hand. We need two bams desperately though. Sound is good now. Okay, we'll see when the game gets going for discards to see if you can hear those okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Peg. Okay, we need badly two bams. Two bam. I hope we get a two bam because this is a gap. And it's a gap with a pair, which is horrible. You can really paint yourself into a corner. Okay, we got a north. This particular hand only calls for one pair of eights. So we do not need this eight bam. I'm going to go ahead and break up the pair of two dots. We need a two bam. We're playing the last hand under the year category. This would be the concealed hand. We were pairing up during the Charleston, so I had to actually pick a hand. We need a two bam. Okay, let's pass that. Two six eight or two six south. Sound low for me too. Okay. Sound is good or sound is low. Okay. I'll put this more in front of my face or I'll turn it. Oh goodness. Sorry for all the trouble tonight, guys. Okay, here we go. We're going to we're going to pass 3. We're on 3 already, huh? Can you hear me better? Gring? Orang? Orang. It's not gring, it's orang. Orange. Orange. Oh, a ring, a orangutan. <laughs> I see that now. Orang, orang, orangutan, orangutan. It's not orangutan, orangutan. Okay, let's pass. So, orang, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, okay, good. So I had my my little snowball turned the wrong, not not close enough. Okay, here we go. All right, now. Let's see, can, can you hear the discards? Because see, I think I have my microphone turned towards me, so now you probably can't hear the discards. I did not have this trouble before. I don't know why this, uh, these issues are happening right now. Seven bamboos. I may need help from my technical support team, Eight namely bamboos. my son. He is my YouTuber technical support. He's a Twitch player. He plays video games on Twitch. So he helps me with my YouTube. Oh, you can hear the discards. Okay. Oh, I'm grateful for that. Goodness. We've been going up and down, in and out. So hopefully we'll get it figured out for the next time. Oh, good. Awesome. Thank you, Orang Utan. Oh, we got Joker bait. Let's keep it. I think I'll get rid of the flower and then hold the dragons. Anytime you have Joker bait, you want to hold it for obviously as long as you can, but get rid of it by the end of the third wall. That's the middle game. You do not want to go into the end game with fresh tiles and Joker bait. Flowers, Seven dragons, characters. winds, ones, eights, twos, Seven all those are valuable tiles. So you want to get rid of those by the end of the third wall, Seven which characters. would probably be, I would say, Five we probably have, well, let's see here. I'm trying to Seven visualize. Characters. This is kind of a weird wall. You kind of have to visualize a full wall. 
I think by where this eight is, I think is going to be about the end of the third wall. So if we get down to this eight, bam, um, with the picking here, I think we should get rid of the red dragons. Oh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. And we have a gap. I'm kind of thinking we should switch to news with, dra with dragons, but there's only one west left. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's see, who pointed that out? Josephine, thank you. Let's keep this dragon. We may have to switch. Oh, not good. This is why you don't want to play with a gap. Especially a gap with a pair, because you can't use a joker. Four dots. Uh, let's see. Alieska, lay it on the new Mahjong time update. I am having other issues since they forced Eight that dots. download. Oh, okay. Huh. I, did, I didn't even know they did a recent up, update. So uh, I know that I have, haven't been able to go back to my green marble tiles. I don't really like these bamboo tiles. I mean, I know it's kind of a common color, but I kind of like the green color tiles better. But, you know, that's not a functional thing. So that's just superficial. But the mechanics of the game, I think, are fine. We need a, either a West or a 2-BAM very badly. Two characters. And there's the only plan B is news with dragons, but there's only one West left. I'll Kong it. Okay, let's get rid of the eight. I'm going to switch to the news dragon hand, but that might go dead. We may have to switch to defense. <laughs> the superficial green marble tiles. Yes, I like those. One dot. Oh, three crack. Um, Shirley three says, since the update, you can no longer save log in for name and password. Oh, I saw mine saved. Four That's dot. weird. What device are you using, three Shirley? Characters. Oh, there's a green dragon. Oh, they're all out. That's a safe tile right there. Eight okay, the West is still available. We need it desperately. Three bamboos. Five bamboos. Huh. Nine bamboos. We need a West. Come on now. Oh shoot, we missed a turn. Okay, so you're on you're Three using dots. Eon on the Mac. That may be east wind. Oh, north. Let's get rid of the green. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing through the website. I don't think this is... Oh, no, I am a neon user. I remember seeing that in my settings. Because you could play through the internet, through a browser. It may save your... Oh, that's why I had a gap. Because somebody has a Kong. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm sure they're probably working on it. They're they're responsive. They they may just be programming. Oh, there's a flower. Okay. Gosh, if we can get a red dragon or a or a joker, maybe we could Kong the red dragon before the West goes down. We're now in the end game, though. I need to get rid of these one bams. I'm going to get rid of this one bam. Maybe we can get a joker out of it. Nope, nobody needed it. There's one nine crack out, so that, that may be safe. This player across may need the nine crack. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of the one, and then I'm going to get rid of the nine. Oh, the five crack is a... Uh, there are none, none out. So here's what I do. Before the middle game, which is the end of the third wall, I hold fresh tiles. In the end game, I discard them as soon as possible. So, for example, there's one nine crack out, and there are no five cracks out, so I'm going to discard that first. So, the fresh tiles go out first. 
this is why I do not want to throw into Mahjong. Somebody's thinking about it. Okay, they're not ready. That is in somebody's hand, but they're not ready for it. There's a flower gone down, so I need to get rid of that next. Nine dots. Okay, thank you, um, Ket Lans Lansky. Uh, Eon is not a browser, it's an app. Six yes, six correct. Three. Down goes the flower. We may just have Over to switch here. to defense. We're two away. We still, this hand is still viable actually, but it's tight because we need that west very badly. One nice consolation is nobody needs wins, so we have three safe discards if we switch to defense. Joker. Okay. <clears throat> That's not a good sign. They are not waiting on a pair, though. I don't know why they would have thrown the joker. Let's see, three. Okay, that's a pass. Three dragons. Why would they discard a joker if they had three dragons? They may be trying to send that out as a ploy to mix people up. So I don't trust that. Orchid. Pass on that. There's three, four dots down. That's a safe tile. Nine characters. I'll probably get rid of that next. Bamboo. Pass. We need a joker. This eight crack is safe. There are three out. Four dots. Although somebody could need it as a single. Plum. Pass. Nine dots. Okay, we'll get rid of the eight. There's only one four bam out. There's only one nine crack out. We have two discards and two picks, so we're switching to defense. There's there's very little chance for this hand to win, so I'm going to switch to defense. I'll be throwing the wins now because nobody needs wins. There goes the west anyway. The hand just went dead. Nine bamboos. That's too bad. That was a pretty hand. I think um, the Winds and Dragons hands, I like those hands. They're pretty. One bamboo. Let's see if we can get to a wall game. I'm curious to see what this player on the left is playing. Joker. North they just threw another Joker. Maybe they were switching to defense too. One bamboo. Oh, somebody got it. They, oh my goodness, last tile. Wow. Very nice. Goodness. That was a nice surprise. Okay, well done. That would be Plet, Peggy. So we have a 3669, second hand down under 369, two suits. So let's see what the dragon player was doing over here so they were trying to play the knitted hand but i don't understand why they threw away those jokers they were playing five crack six bam seven crack maybe because there were two five cracks out although i don't know why they didn't take them it looks like the five cracks went down before maybe they had their jokers. Maybe they felt like they didn't have a chance and wanted to play it safe and switch to defense. That's my only guess. Uh, let's see. Over here, we have a 2468 hand. They were playing, oh, I think they messed up. They conged and they should have punged. Do you see this here? They were probably playing the second hand, or let's see. The second hand from the bottom under 2468, Pung Pung, Kong Kong, two suits. 2 4 in BAMs, 6 8 in dots. But they Konged the twos. So I think that was a mistake. I don't know for sure. But that's my guess. So that, that looks to be an unfortunate uh, exposure. Okay, let's see if we can play another game. We'll join. Let's see here. We'll do a auto pass six. Okay, a Kong instead of a Pung? Yes. 
That's painful. And then you have to make it work. It's very painful when that happens. Oh, Miss Travel Bug is coming. She's coming on this trip. She's a good player, Miss Travel Bug. I wish I knew her name because I play with her a lot. Okay, we have Plet, which is Peggy, or Peg, Peggy. We need one more player, one more player. Oh, hey, let's do maximum usage. If I don't get two multiples, if I only get one multiple, let's see if max, maximum usage has better results. I usually build around multiples, but sometimes maximum usage is a good thing. Uh, looks like we have a multiple of sixes here. We have a lot of dots, but they're not consecutive fully. We do have two, four, six, but no eight. I wouldn't play an even hand here. I think I might play uh, five, six, seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven. So let's play consecutive run and pull off all the little numbers. Four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. We really don't need the nine either. So let's go ahead and get rid of these little numbers here. Here we go. Okay, we're, we're gonna try, in this case, maximum usage ended up being building around multiples. The multiple happened to be with the most of our tiles anyway, which is a consecutive run, which is kind of nice, I guess, but I'm, I'm trying to prove a point here. We'll see if it's possible. Okay, we got a six, that's good. That's in our range. We could potentially keep the four for a knitted opportunity, but we're left with all these like numbers. The bane of my existence with the Charleston. It's like passing a pair, so I really don't like to do it. I think we should keep the four, five, six knitted opportunity, so I wanna keep the five crack. We could do four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and um, Let's see, there is a six, seven pair hand, or not pair hand, pung hand concealed. Let's get rid of the four because there is the pung concealed hand for a higher value if we pair up the six, seven crack. Okay, we didn't get any keepers here. We do have a multiple though. I'm gonna risk keeping it. Maybe we can use it as joker bait. I don't like having a pair with only three discards for whatever it is I'm playing because if we get everything we want, we might have to pass a pair, which I won't do. I'd rather break up my hand than pass a pair. But we're kind of in between right now. We're between a knitted consecutive hand, the second one down, or the concealed hand, the last one, or the second hand from the top. We're in between. We're between three hands, but all are in the consecutive run category. We're just waiting to see if we're gonna keep going with Miss Travel Bug. Yes, okay, here we go. So we have Joker Bait and no other functional, well, I guess Joker Bait is functional. I should say no other multiples that we can use for consecutive run. So we need either a five crack red dragon, seven crack, six crack, something like that to kind of be a deciding factor here, nothing. We didn't get anything, but we did get a white dragon. That's not good. We have to make a choice because I am not gonna pass a pair and I'm not gonna pass like numbers. So we have to make a choice. I think I would risk passing the white dragon to keep my options open. I'm gonna make an exception this time. Oh, Shirley. Thank you for the super chat. Oh my goodness. How nice, thank you. This is a feature I shared in my latest channel update. 
a super chat is like a it's like a tip so it's a one-time donation to the channel thank you Shirley so if you click this little icon down here um, just a, under the chat that's super chat you're sweet Shirley thank you so we still have not gotten a good multiple for consecutive run Ugh, not going well <laughs> we want three let's see if we can get three good tiles okay we get three let's see if they're going to be helpful we're going to have to draw really well there's like seven or eight discards this is not good this is the kind of experience that I've been having lately. Losing streak. But the thing is, though, it's a game. And even if you lose, you still benefit from brain exercise. So I'm okay with that. We got the white dragon back. I think I'm going to discard it, though, right away. And also... If I'm not using Winds and Dragons, I get rid of those right away too. Because you rarely get Jokers out of Winds and Dragons for that matter. I have found for this year. So I'm going to get rid of the Winds and Dragons first. I'm going to try to maybe use this Red Dragon in a knitted hand. The second one from the bottom under consecutive run. So we'll see. We'll see if that... Uh, comes to pass I don't know but we have a lot of discards we do have some five six here's a five six in BAMS for a potential five six seven eight second hand down but this hand is anemic right now we still don't have to pick a hand technically oh we got another multiple finally so we're still in between though i think One bamboo. we could probably give up the five six Sound in bams and definitely the two dot Eight dots. oh there's a west we could have used that last hand two dots. couldn't get a hold of a wind last time Seven dots. so i'm thinking probably the knitted hand we may even need to claim a five crack for a pung five this would be the second from the bottom under consecutive run with the four six in dots and five crack with Nine a red bamboos. get rid of that west, west next i'll get rid of the one crack there are two white dragons out Seven bamboos. so if the big ear hand is in play here i don't I don't Seven know bamboos. if this one crack is, is all that dangerous. Five characters. Oh, I'm going to pung it because we can use a pung of five cracks with one either character. hand because I'm thinking of the second hand down as an option. So we can use a pung there too of the five. So that actually was a good, a good exposure. Nine bamboos. We're still quite anemic, though, sadly. Seven bamboos. Uh, let me see. We need, four actually, cracks. that second hand down, we need four cracks. I'm not sure what I, w I was thinking there. North Five, north. six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think we're committing north to the, the knitted hand here because we don't have any four cracks. One bamboo. I'm going to get rid of now tiles that have been discarded and try to save all fresh tiles until the end of the third wall, which will be right about where Plett's name is. That's where we want to get rid of fresh tiles. So the three dot has not been thrown. The one crack has been thrown. There's a seven crack out. A seven dot is out. So the six bam, three dot, and One six character. crack those are all fresh tiles so I'm gonna hold on One to those bamboo. I threw a four dot I threw a four, four dot 
There's uh, two the four dot is way up there. I don't remember throwing that. Maybe I did. I don't know. But I might have been considering a different one hand. Character. I I might have been considering the six seven concealed Kong hand that was on the table. Okay, so that might have been a mistake. Thankfully, jokers can be used, so I can recover. But Three I characters. must have been talking. <laughs> So we need a joker now. Seven characters. Hmm. Was I talking about the six, Four seven three. concealed pung hand at the time? That is a bummer. I can't believe I did that. Seven characters. All right, well, let's see if, if this can be uh, a recovery operation at this point. So the six spam, six crack, three dot, those are all fresh. Maybe they're playing like numbers here to the right. We can get a joker out of this three dot. Oh, that's a bummer. We have two flowers. This is Seven Joker bait characters. too. I don't like to hold on to those for very long. So Eight by characters. by this tile here in front of Plett's name here, we need to get rid of these flowers. There's one Six three characters. crack available. Let's get rid of the seven. Seven dots. Oh, there's another four dot out now. That's a bummer. I hope I didn't throw that one to you. That would be very unfortunate. This hand, we might need to switch to defense. One dot. Unless we just draw a bunch of jokers. We'll get rid of the three bam. The eight crack would have been a good discard. That was recently discarded. Nobody took it. Okay, I was talking about the second consecutive run option. But you don't see how you can talk, read comments, and play without making mistakes. <laughs> I cover show several seconds Three after dragons. we make them. Yeah, there is a lag. That's just uh, the characters. nature of live streaming. There's a lag. Eight so, um, yeah, that was a mistake. I should have kept that. But I guess one consolation oh, is, God. even if I had kept it, since I, since I have no jokers, I never could have done anything with it. So... Yeah, I, I got a little bit of um, humble pie there, a little taste of humble pie, which is good. I like it. All right, so we have, a, oh, a pretty hand, one suit. I like the one suit hands, very nice. So let me congratulate that hand, if I can see what I'm typing. Okay, let's see what uh, Ms. Travelbug was playing here. So we have a 2468 hand, oh, they were, they were set. They needed to Pung and Kong, and they had Jokers. So they had a nice um, plan going there. And then we have, who won? I forgot. Oh, the one suit. Plet won again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so then we have a 369 one suit Kong hand is what they were probably going for. Fourth hand down. So they needed a Joker or a nine crack or their three crack left um, that... The joker in their three crack would have been nice for them. So they were two away, which was nice. Okay, let's see if we can play another game. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Okay, we're losing a population here. We're only down to four tables, so I don't know how long we're going to have to wait for a table. So there's Ms. Travelbug. Let me see if she'll give us her name. Okay, there we go. Let's see if she gives us her name. Okay, so we have Miss Travelbug and Plet. You don't know about the lag? It's about six seconds behind live. There's there's like a, an innate lag. It's Tammy. Tra Miss Travelbug is Tammy.
Okay. Nice. Nice to know your name, Tammy, Miss Travelbug. Oh my goodness sake. Look at that. James, thank you. <laughs> wow. I just got a $10 super chat. That is fabulous. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. That is so sweet. Oh yeah. Hop toy. Hop toy is Michelle. Okay, here we go. I would love to win at least one hand. Wouldn't that be nice? Since I'm broadcasting this out to the world, it'd be nice to win a hand. Okay, I'm thinking like numbers with twos. We even have the white, the right dragon. This would be the first hand under like numbers. We really don't have to pick a hand. We could potentially even play a quint because we do have a joker. Um, let's see. So let's keep the three dot and give up the six band and kind of mix up the suits a little bit. Let's see if we can get a win out of this one. I'm feeling good about this one at the moment, except that we have a six dot pair here that may need to be sacrificed. Oh, the super chat, so cool. I've given them, but I've rarely received them. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. We got a keeper. We actually got a six dot in here. Oh no, we're stuck. Look, okay, I think we need to commit to like numbers with twos because I am not passing like numbers. So let's pass one of each suit. Okay, it, Janet says it's easy to feel like we're in a regular conversation till you see the lag, then you realize that it's not regular at all. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Keep the sixes. What would I do with the sixes? I have all these twos. I can actually Kong these twos. I need to give up the sixes, I think, because I, oh, you know what? Actually, now we have an eight. We could use the dragon or the joker for a missing four for a two, four, six, eight concealed hand, maybe, except that we have a gap. We have no, no white dragon. This is a bit precarious here. I'm not real comfortable with this. But we do have a pung of sixes. What do you mean I had, oh, you mean, oh, keep the sixes. Well, I had, I had a pung of sixes and one other six. And then I had a pair of twos and a pung of twos. I think it was equal. We just have now a kong of twos. So I think, let's see, we'll definitely keep going. I'm thinking of going, I'm going to break up the sixes because now we have a Kong of twos. If we can get the two crack, we might even be able to play a Quint. I dream big. I like the Quints. I cannot lie. I mean, it's a long shot. Let's be real. The red dragon, maybe that would have, that would be good. I think I was hoping for maybe a two, four, six, eight, uh, concealed hand, but we have a gap with no white dragon. And then we got a, a Kong. Oh, look, we got the two. Oh yeah. Look at here. This is the workings of, uh, Quint right there. Let's pass these three. Okay. I see a Quint in here. We need another Joker, of course. Now, if the red dragon comes back, we definitely could play like numbers with the dragon. And I would definitely go for that. We got it back. Okay, we still don't have to commit. We're in between. Excuse me, we're in between. We do have tiles to pass. This is the second cross. We can always pass blind on the last right. So we're between the consecutive quint. And like numbers with the green dragon, which is the first hand under like numbers. Nothing. We got nothing. We got discards, which is fine because, oh, that was the last right. So now we're on optional cross. Oh, Kathleen, thank you for the super chat. That is sweet. Awesome. Wow. 
Very, very nice. Okay, they want two tiles. I think I need uh, to think of, you know, most channels, like I, I watch um, my mentor channel is Nick Nimmin. He, he help, excuse me, he helps YouTubers with best practices on their channels. He's helped me a lot to improve my channel. And so I watch him on Saturdays and he does super chats. And because he helps people with their channels, he does free, uh, like cookie channel reviews when people give uh, super chats. I need to come up with some kind of a, um, some kind of a gimme, I guess, for super chats because I'm so grateful and thank you just doesn't seem like enough. So I will put on my thinking cap and try to figure something out. Four bamboos, east wind. So we're in between Quint and like numbers. Quint and like numbers. The Quint I'm thinking of is the third one down. I mean, it, we've bamboos. got the one, two. Obviously, we're missing a pair and we need jokers. East wind. At least one more joker and a two bam would do. We have Eight bamboos. these fours are fresh. One character. We don't need to worry about that. We only need a single. So we need a pair of two cracks. Red dragon. Okay, there's the first. We weren't able to take that anyway. So we would need a joker for that, two, that two red dragon. Characters. Oh, there's a keeper right out there now. Four bamboos. Red dragon. Oh, there goes that red now. Okay, so Nine either way, we're going to need jokers, whether we play a quint or like numbers, or we need to switch to a different like number hand. There's a pair. We could, let's see here. We could play, hmm, no, I'm not, no, we're going to have to use Nine that characters. four crack as joker bait. Seven characters. Three dots. We need twos huh. or a joker. Ooh, okay, that three dot, One there's dot. a joker there. If we draw a three dot, we can nab that. Four bamboos. Ah, oh, West. Don't you hate it when you get West winds wind. and you don't need them? Kind of like flowers when you get flowers and you don't need them. Oh, it feels like a waste. Eight dots. Three characters. No keeper. Five bamboos. Four bamboos. Green dragon. You know what I was just thinking? Maybe what we need to do here is switch One to the concealed bamboo. like number hand. We still don't technically have to pick a hand. Bamboo. The challenge is going to be that there are two red dragons out and a green dragon. And we definitely need those Eight to make bamboos. that concealed like number hand work either way we're behind the eight ball again Six characters. oh my goodness sake oh i'm gonna get rid of the red and i'll tell you why let me see here we could maybe play the consecutive pass we could play the consecutive run Kong hand in mixed suits. Right. If we can get some three bams, we do have a joker. We could use that for the three bam. Six dot. The four dot comment was oh. for the previous game when you went to defense. Yeah, yes. Okay, uh, three, six, nine. They need nine dots and flowers. 
there's a Joker. Let's go ahead and give up on the Quint. One character. There's a two crack out. One we can use these two Jokers for a three bam, and the two bam can be used as Joker bait. I'm thinking I want to leverage the, the pung of four cracks. There are none out, Eight so we can... Characters. Oh, and then we get the... Oh, my goodness sake. Two then we get the two. That could have been a quint. Oh, terrible timing. Okay, that's all right. So we could still play like numbers with flowers, but I think we're probably closer to Three the, con the uh, consecutive Mixup Kong One hand, down. which is the fifth hand down One on the right. Down. Oh, there are three two cracks out now. Seven so down. that leaving the quint was a good a good idea, I think. One as sad down. as that is. North wind. So at this point, we need a three bam and a flower, of course. Seven dots. There are no three bams out right now. Seven dots. Ah, oh, shoot. Five bamboos. Eight characters. Six characters. East wind. Oh, we need a keeper. One dot. If we get a three bam, the hand will be set. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shoot. You know what? I need to identify this. You need to define Character. a joker if you have a missing tile. Otherwise, the game won't know to prompt Seven you. Months. We need a three bam badly at this point. Either that or a flower. There are no two bams Eight out. Characters. If that goes down, I might just con it. North wind. Uh, let's see. Oh, on. Oh my. Hold on one second. Oh, oh shoot! Three I needed that. Characters. I think I was thinking about something else. Oh shoot! Okay, we're gonna switch to like numbers with flowers. Because we can use these as flowers. I don't even need to define them. We'll get rid of the four crack. And that really is because I had a gap of no three bam and there was one out. Okay, so Kathleen says, uh, my, oh my, that, that always happens. You get the tile after you switch to another hand. Yes, that is discouraging at times. So we're switching to the, the like number hand with flowers. This hand is viable. We have two discards. Let's Kong it. Well, now we have one discard. I'm going to define one of these. So if a flower goes down, I might as well define. We'll pass that. Nobody wanted those anyway. That really isn't necessary to assign all those, but I'm hoping I can pung a, uh, one of the flowers. Because we need six. Eight characters. Let's get rid of the four. Nobody wants that. And nobody wants the wins four either. Characters. That seven crack is... Oh, we got close on that one. Shoot. Oh, my goodness. All right. So they're playing a knitted hand. Boy, these knitted hands are kind of popular lately. So they're playing the consecutive run knitted hand. Second one down. Let's see, Plett was playing 369. They could not get nine dots. Okay, talk about having a bunch of pungs. You think with so many, this would have been an easy hand. Just shows you how much I didn't, the dynamics of the game changed throughout. Absolutely true. That is true. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Oh, that was not Plett. That was, let me see here. That was, oh, that was Plet. This is Miss Travel Bug, Tammy. That's a pretty hand. She needed a, a five bam and maybe some jokers. She had no jokers. If she could get some green dragons, a pair hand would have been nice. Oh, she was playing odds though. So there were gaps in there. I was thinking the consecutive run pair hand. So let's see if we could can 
Join another table. Oh, good. There's one available. I would love to win something. All right, here we go. We'll try again. Try, try again. So we have a pair of threes. That is the strength of the hand right there. A pair of threes. I'm thinking probably three, six, nine. We have two tiles for three, six, nine. The other option might be consecutive run with the three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. The green dragon I'd like to hold. Let's get rid of the eight. And let's see, three, six, nine. We can't keep it all. I like holding the dragons. I don't want to pass a green dragon with an eight and an east. Let's give up the four because we could play little odds. We could even play a pair hand. The pair, the uh, odd pair hand. We'd have to sacrifice a joker though. Let's see how this goes. We're in between. We got a three and a six. I'm thinking three, six, nine might work here. Three, six, nine. Here's two. We could do two, three, four, five. We still have some potential there. Let's go ahead and give up the green now. Um, that's a little risky. If we play three, six, nine in mixed suits or three, six, six, nine, let's risk passing these three. I would like to see four discards after the Charleston. It's been a rough night. And I think we'll be able to play one more after this. We got a six. I'm thinking three, six, nine is looking pretty solid. So let's give up. Let's see. We have three, six, nine in mixed suits. Maybe let's go ahead and give up the five at this point. Okay, let's see. Everything's good in chat. All right. I think the 369 Mix Kong hand, this would be the fourth hand down. We really don't have to pick a hand yet, but I think we're closest to that one. Okay, we have no keepers, so we still don't have to pick a hand. We'll keep going with the Charleston. We have really five discards right now, which is pretty good. It's pretty safe. Two, three, three, four, five, six. There is still some potential for consecutive run with three, four, five, six. If we get a five crack and a four dot, for example, we'll see. What did I say just then? Four crack, five dot, or a nine bam. That'll decide it right there. The nine bam would be ideal. Okay, we got the seven bam back. Okay, so here's a two, three, Two, three, yeah, I don't think that is going to be helpful. This is not a bad pass, though. The seven, four is not really a useful set of tiles together, so we can pass that. I'm thinking three, six, nine, mix suit Kong hand is the closest opportunity, really. All right, what do we got here? Three, okay, we have a white dragon. I don't like passing those. I think we could go ahead and get rid of these three here. It's a little risky with the one, two. I don't know. Let's hope nobody's playing the big year hand. Oh, we got another three. We could maybe switch to like numbers with threes. And we got a four, three, four, five, six. I think we can get rid of the six bam. We're in between like numbers, consecutive run, and three, six, nine. How's that? Three different categories. Let's go ahead and pass two. Oh, they only want two. Well, that was a nice arrangement. There we go. So we're in between like numbers, three, four, five, six under consecutive run. That would be the second hand down using the joker as the missing five dot. Or 
369 mixed suit Kong hand. And we have, yeah, I don't even want to count. Let me fix this here. Okay, we have two discards before we really have to decide. So we do, did get here a two bam. There is still some consecutive run capability there with that particular tile. So we'll see. This one is going to keep me on my toes. Ooh, five dot. Three, four, five, six is probably the strongest opportunity because that's leveraging. Well, we're in between. I think we could probably get rid of the two bam and the white dragon and whittle down to three, six, nine or consecutive run. Probably this three can go. So three, four, five, six consecutive run, second hand down or three, six, nine mixed Kong hand. We're in between two categories right now. One bamboo. I think I would throw away the two bam first. South wind. East wind. That's helpful. We're going to have to make a decision here in a minute. So let's see. For the consecutive run, we could pung, pung, and then, okay, we don't need that. Let's let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're exactly in the middle, and they're of equal value. Let's commit because uh, it just feels right. So we have three discards. I'm going to get rid of the flower first. So we can Kong the six. We need help with the five dot. At least there's no gaps. So it was really six one half dozen the other. North wind. I don't see any nines or fives Seven in those suits. So it was six one half dozen the other. Bamboo. It'd be nice to get that four crack back. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, no, no. There's two out. So that's still uh, a good joker for Nabin. Three dot. Six dot. Oh, we can Kong it. Okay, Kong. now we are needing five dots or jokers Nine at this point. Oh. But we could use jokers, so Kong. that's not too bad of a position. I think when you're lacking a pair, that's when you paint yourself Nine into a corner. Dot. When you can use jokers for all your blocks, Eight so bamboos. to speak then I think I probably should have gotten rid of that three crack instead because that's kind of a dead tile. But anyway, um, when you are, when your gap is a pair, that's when you paint yourself into a corner. Since we can use jokers for the five dot, there's really no risk there. Six bamboos. Let's keep the nines. Three Maybe bamboos. they're playing like numbers ac across the, with the player across. And if they expose something with nines, maybe we can get a joker out of those. Oh, yeah. Good point, Janet. We needed a pair of flowers, and we had a single. Yeah, that was a good a good choice. It just felt right, but I didn't think about the pair of flowers. So very good point. Very astute. Red dragon. Um, let's Two see. Characters. Four characters. Oh my gosh, I agree, Janet. Eight a flower characters. pair, they're hard to come by because of the double pungs. The double pungs wrecked it for flowers. I mean, if you have them, it's cool, but if you don't have them, oh man, that is difficult to get. I've been, I've been uh, stuck needing a pair of flowers and then somebody puts out a pung of flowers and that's pretty much why. Three dot. Yeah, we don't need the West. Three oh, that's okay. <laughs> the first one was not complete, so you're fine. 
I would not have gotten that second and most important well, part yeah. of the message. So that's totally fine. Four dots. Oh, we're kind of stuck. Okay, three dot. I think we'll get rid of the nine. There are, let's see, nine there are dots. two three dots out. No nine, nine bams. Characters. Okay, so eight, nine. They could be playing Four maybe dots. the consecutive single suit, consecutive run hand. That Seven. I think that's the only hand they could be playing, actually. Two dots. Oh, we got a five dot. <laughs> nice. Dots. Oh, my goodness. I hope I can get my six dot back. That would be fabulous. There are no nine bams out, and there are no five dots out right now. Oh, I would love to win a hand tonight. Oh, my goodness. I need that encouragement. Two dots. Oh, those wins. When you don't need them, they just feel kind of like a waste. But when you need them, oh, they're nice. We need a joker or a five dot badly. Nine dots. Oh, five bam wrong suit. Five bamboo. Oh, I have a question. Three dots. Regarding live streams. I I don't know if any of you saw the channel update. One dot. I'm going to be adding MCR, which is Mahjong Competition Nine Rules, dots. to my video content. North and that's Indian. that will impact the schedule a little bit. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fit everything in. But I was thinking of doing the MCR live streams on the third Sunday. How many of you attend both Seven live dots. streams First and third, first and Eight third dots. live streams of the month for American style. How many of you come to both? Because the other option would be to do MCR on the fifth Seven Sunday, members. and not do it as much. If if you enjoy these live streams twice a month, I will keep it because the American style audience is the largest, and I want to make sure that I'm delivering the content that you want. So would you feel like it was a nerf if I did only one live stream a month for American Style? Write your comments in, in the chat so that I, I can get a little litmus test. Oh, shoot. Oh, we have the opportunity for a pure hand, though. Oh, let's get rid of the nine. Gosh, if we get that five dot, we could have a pure hand here. Okay, Janet says she does both with the current schedule. One okay. Bamboo. You watch both, Cheryl. You enjoy them. Okay. Uh, let me see. You come to all the live streams. <laughs> awesome. You even want to learn Reach. Oh, Jan. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. You watch all the American style. Okay. So I will, I will not nerf it. No nerf. We'll, we'll keep it on there, and I will add MCR to the fifth Sunday. It's a smaller, I, I'm per, I'm kind of predicting that it's gonna be a smaller audience anyway. So we'll keep first and third. Josephine, thank you. Um, oh, hi, Carlene, you do both live streams. Okay, fabulous, I will keep it. Um, you were going to suggest the fifth Sunday. Okay, both, what is M N C R N? It's M as in Mahjong, Mahjong Competition Rules, M C R, Mahjong Competition Rules. This is another version here at Mahjong Time. It is very popular in Europe. I have just joined a group live here at, near my home and I'm going to be playing with them. And so I wanna start doing practice videos, you know, random pulls and solitaire. And then I will be doing live streams for, oh, shoot. Oh, they had our five dot over here. Um, so anyway, I want to do add live or add MCR to the content schedule. But it won't affect the live streams because of the response that I got in chat. So thank you for uh, participating with that request. 
I, I will not nerf the first and third. There will still be a live stream, first and third Sundays for American style. And then every every month with five, five Sundays, I'll do MCR for that particular month. All right, let's see. And then I think I'll release the videos on Sundays for MCR. That will fill in uh, Sunday videos a little bit. So we have consecutive run, five through. Yep, that's the hand I thought they were doing. I think that's the only hand they could have been playing. I hope I didn't. Oh, they self-picked. Okay, well, that's very nice. That deserves a kudos. Kudos there. And also, oh, I thought maybe um, it looks like it was pure. So why didn't they get more points? They got 50 each. Self-picked. I mean, did they self-pick or did someone throw Someone... No, they self-picked. It seems like they should have gotten more score. Okay, whatever. I don't know. All right, let's move on. Okay, so Nana, no, Diane, um, she was playing the news year hand but couldn't get one dots. Thankfully, she could use the jokers. She needed to dedicate one of those jokers to a one dot or may not have been able to to declare Mahjong because the game may not have recognized that as a, a potential winning hand there. If you have a missing tile and all jokers representing that tile, you're better off to, de to dedicate one of those jokers. Let's see here, uh, Miss Travelbug, Tammy. She was playing uh, four, five, six, seven consecutive runs, second hand down. Okay, let's see here. Um, I just wanna check out live streams or the live chat. Um, Janet, by the way, favorite videos are the Solitaire, Siamese, and regular National Mahjong League. Awesome. You know what? I actually got a thumbs down recently on a Solitaire game. I think it might have been a Ricci Solitaire game, though. And I think some of my methodologies are um, not taken very seriously in, in the community. So I, I'm okay with that. I, they help me. The Solitaire games help me a lot because I rewatch the videos and I learn from my own videos, as I said in my channel update videos. Um, so if, if people don't like the methodologies, they really don't need to watch the channel. But I have gotten a lot of comments about solitaire and random pulls and they have helped people. So I'm gonna continue to do them. So thank you for that, Janet. And Alieska, you will see Oh, good. You want it. You're interested in MCR. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this is the player reference for MCR. See how big it is? These, look at this. Those are all the scoring elements. You see that? 88 scoring elements. It's basically MCR is a compilation of all the popular versions. So when there is an international competition, no matter what style you play, you will be able to find some kind of scoring that you're comfortable with in order to participate in a tournament. That's the purpose of the MCR. So I'm going to try to learn that now. Let's see, Janet, you've only given you thumbs up. I really can't imagine ever giving anybody a thumbs down seems unnecessary and a bit rude that is a, a consensus for many kind youtuber watchers viewers and if i don't like a video i just don't give a thumbs up or a thumbs down i just let it go if i'm offended by something i will give a thumbs down if something offends me i will do a thumbs down um, but one thing I was thinking is if, if anybody gives a thumbs down, I almost would want to know why. Because I want an opportunity to make improvements to my videos. If there's something that people don't agree with, whether it's my methodology or my decision making, I want to know why. And as far as decision making, people comment and I, and I welcome that. Everybody sees something a little bit differently when I do my exercises and live streams and even the uh, strategy theory. Um, comments are welcome. I welcome crit constructive criticism. It's rudeness that is hard. Um, and it's rare, thankfully. I've only had one hater in 
a year and a month. I started this channel a year and a month ago, and I've only ever had one hateful comment. So I'm really grateful for that. This community is healthy and um, precious. So thank you. Uh, let's see. We have... Um, Kathleen says, you like the solitaire games a lot. You ignore the troll. Ignore the trolls. Yes, I agree. They are out there everywhere. Elieska says, it does not recognize if you have not declared at least one yet. Speaking from experience, correct. Elieska, have you ever had a winning hand ready and a missing tile with a bunch of jokers? Does the game pass you up? I recall that happening to me one time. So... I always try to identify at least one of those jokers for a missing tile. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Peggy mentioned the live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a interview. This will be Table Talk, which is kind of my variety show where I do um, topical live streams where we cover some kind of a topic and then um, interviews. And tomorrow will be my first interview. Uh, Greg Swain will be on. She's the author of a beautiful pictorial book, coffee table book, called Mahjong, The Art of the Game. So if you're available tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, you may consider coming to that live stream because it's going to be fascinating. There's information about that um, on my Facebook page in events. So let's see, shall we try to play another game? Is anybody up for another game? I think, let's see if there are any tables available. We have time for one more maybe. And I still, oh, look at that. Look at all those tables. Wow, that's nice to see, very nice. But let's look at something real quick since there's no tables available. Let's look at the Ricci population. You see that? One table. I would love to see more Ricci players. If you've ever thought about learning, this is a fascinating style. It's very complex though, and it is a lot of fun to play. It's very strategic. You have to be very defensive playing Ricci. So I would love to see many more tables here. Competition rules, no tables, very light population at the moment. Taiwanese is popular. Taiwanese is played just like Cantonese or Hong Kong style, only instead of four sets in a pair, you have five sets in a pair. I believe that is the primary difference. Hong Kong style is the most popular. And that, there's a big population. I think that's their biggest population. That and American style. A lot. There are a lot of American style players here. But it's typically more popular during the evening hours. Let's go ahead and join five second auto. All right, here we go. Oh, we need, let's, let's see if we can, oh, here we go. Miss Travel Bug, Tammy, Tammy's back. Okay, let's see if we can win one. Either way, I've been having a great time. So I don't mind if this is not going to be a winner. I, I'm enjoying myself and I'm so thankful that you all joined me. Every hand, you work on strategy. You work on decision-making, so it's good for the brain. Okay, so for this one, we have one multiple, a pair of sevens. So I think we are heavy, though, on consecutive run, two, three, four, five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six for two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, four, seven, eight. Like numbers with sevens, maybe. Either way, we can get rid of, let's get rid of the West. I think, I think like numbers or seven, eight is going to be stronger. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, we could even play big odds if we get the right tiles, nines, the right suit, cracks and bams. There's a little potential there. There's a missing nine bam, of course. So let's see what happens here. I'm thinking like numbers or consecutive run. Big odds is a slight potential. Um, okay, Janet, whatever the 13th is dealt, I can confidently expect a joker. Often disappointed, of course. Oh yeah, no jokers here. 
That's okay. Maybe I should play, try for a, quint, a, a pair hand here. Hey, if we get nines, maybe we could play the 998. That's a fun hand to play. 998, second hand down. We need nines though. We did get a dragon. So I think like numbers is a possibility here. Let's go ahead. Oh, we picked up a three. Oh, bummer. That's a bummer. Let's keep the one and give up the three, two. Because if we get a five crack and a nine crack, we would have odds in one suit. I'm thinking like numbers is probably going to be the strongest opportunity here. We did get a six, so there's some consecutive run help. Let's get rid of the 3-1 east. Although, yeah, because I don't want to give away a 1-3 crack. I think we should give up on the uh, odd hand in one suit because we had a gap with no nines. Five, six, seven, eight, or like numbers with sevens and dragons, I think are the two uh, strongest possibilities. With the consecutive run category, we need to stay at the category level. There are far too many discards to pick a hand in my opinion. Okay, we got another six. Still no multiples in there though. We do have tiles we can pass here. Uh, it's going to be a little risky because I'm going to pass a two, three crack. That is a little bit risky if somebody is playing that suit and consecutive run. That's going to fit right in. But I want to, I want to try to leave my options open. We're you know, this five BAM actually could probably go because we're, we're more heavy into uh, six, seven, eight. Let's, let's go ahead and mix it up and get rid of the three. Let's break up the three. So six, seven, eight, right now it's just three numbers in a range, which is fine. Okay, we have tiles we can pass no problem I really believe in passing defensively how many of you write this in chat how many of you pass defensively or do you just focus on your hand and pass whatever do you pass for example like numbers pairs all the wins together things like that are you deep do you consider yourself to be defensive or do you primarily work on your own hand and not worry about passing? Let me know, because I've had a, a conversation about that concept with a Wright-Patterson player. We've had some really great conversations about defensive playing versus just focusing on your own hand. So for example, I tend to break up my hand in order to pass defensively, um, but she focuses on her hand and doesn't worry about what she passes. So it would be an interesting um, thing to track to see which has better results. We have tiles we can pass, so I'm going to pass fully here. But um, the name of my new friend is Marietta. So Marietta, if you're watching, hi. I wish Wright Patterson were available at Mahjong time. I think we would have some players, but I think it would be a pretty small community, which is probably why this that style is not here. Okay, we did get a five, five, six, seven, eight. That filled in a little bit. So we do have a little joker bait. So I think consecutive run or like numbers is where we ended up. We got lots of discards. I would not pick a hand here, not yet. Let's see, Peggy says, you don't mind passing like numbers, but you try to pass defensively. I'm going to get rid of the two. Uh, let's see, Josephine, people pass a lot of like numbers on Mahjong time. I agree. Uh, let's see, Kathleen says, I pass defensive. Jan says, you pass defensive. If you ever have to pass like numbers or things that I use in the, of the, same, in the same hand, I say, Michelle would not like that pass. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look at we got a pair. Okay, so oh, we picked up a multiple here, six, seven. So I'm thinking, uh, let's see, three, gosh, you know, if we fill oh, in a consecutive run, we might even be able to play a pair hand here. 
I'm thinking six, seven concealed maybe, or I think I'm gonna give up on the like numbers. We don't need the one at all. I think we can get rid of the seven, but I'm thinking probably either the concealed five, six pung hand, although we have no flowers, so that's a gap. That's lower priority. But if we fill in three, four, five, six, seven, we may be able to get rid of the eight. Uh, let's see, Alieska says she passes defensively. Carlene, ditto what Jan said. Everyone knows what you're talking about. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got a flower. Nice. Okay, so that concealed pung hand is looking a little bit better. Not by much, though. That's kind of a long shot. At least we have no gaps. There's no gaps for that hand. And I definitely think we could probably get rid of the dragons at this point. The like number opportunity, I think, is pretty slim. I think probably the threes are joker bait at this point, too. So I'm thinking five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. We don't need no one. One dot. So if we can get the six and seven dot, that would be helpful for that concealed pung hand. One dot. Otherwise, we could maybe play five, six, seven, eight, the second hand down, although we wouldn't be able to call for anything right now. We're kind of stuck at the moment. Four bamboo. We maybe should hold the red because we could potentially play the third hand down as well. I really like to keep my options open. I probably should have kept the two dot just then and gotten rid of that green dragon. The two dot might have been a better opportunity to get a joker as opposed to the green dragon. Okay, we are not ready to declare anything on that. I'm not taking it. Just because you can pung, don't be tempted if you don't know what hand you're playing because you paint yourself into a corner. We can use a joker for any of these. This is the third one dot. Not interested. We need five, six dots or six, seven dots to really pick a hand. We're in the consecutive run category. At least we know that. We do have joker bait too. I'm kind of thinking the eight might be a long shot for the third hand down. I'm going to get rid of that green dragon. green dragon. The consecutive run pair hand, I thought about that, Kathleen, but we have way too many gaps. We, we would need uh, four crack, five crack, of which we have none. There are two five cracks out. So I, I think that would be a risk to commit to that. Um, true, but there are two five cracks out and we have none. So that would be a risk, I think, to commit to that hand. I did think about it though. That would be a really pretty hand and very encouraging to win. I'm gonna hold those three cracks for a while. Maybe the five cracks will come, I don't know. But it, it, that would be a long shot because there are two out right now. <clears throat> so the challenge I think is just to keep scouting the discards and making the right decision at the right time. This hand is looking pretty anemic right now. West wind. And it's West interesting, wind. at this point there are no exposures on the table. Sometimes it's helpful West for West. people, oh look at, we got a four crack. Five, I think we can give up the eight crack and hold the four because a potential pair hand might be um, a potential here. A potential pair hand is a potential. Oh, potentially so let's see what happens there are two five cracks out let's see if we can two get them bamboos. eight bamboos we need five cracks or six dot seven dot oh we got a six dot okay that's helpful eight okay bamboos. we have another multiple Peggy says, the Joker gods only see a bunch of red cracks. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of red, no gold. Are the Jokers gold? I forget what they look like. Red dragon. 
Although we did try to go for a quint earlier, so I shouldn't complain. I think at one point we had three. Five dot. But, yeah, not this time. At the moment, anyway. Yeah. They could come. But what's interesting are there no exposures. I think, I don't remember if I completed that thought. But when there are exposures with jokers, sometimes you can get one. That's the nice thing about jokers. And since nobody, oh, we got a keeper. Now we have a pwn. So I'm going to give up on the pear hand. I'm going to get rid of this uh, dragon. I'm going to put this flower way over here to separate it. So we're playing the Pung Concealed Hand under consecutive run. Primarily because we have a gap of no five crack. We just got three Pungs now. So at this point, we need a seven dot and a flower pretty badly. But the hand filled in, which is nice. We're in the end game, though, and we have three discards. The hand is viable, but I don't know... It's looking a little healthier. We have a ways to go, though. Uh, four cracks, six bam. This is your favorite hand, Janet. I like this hand, too, actually. I I think it's a, a nice hand. And right now, it's... Oh, bummer! Seven dots. A pung of seven dots. Shoot. We're going to need two jokers now. Oh, too bad there weren't any jokers in there. No that would have been, did. well, no, because I would have swapped it out. I probably would have swapped it out and switched to like numbers with sixes. And I just got rid of that red dragon. So the pear hand is done. There are three red dragons out. There's an eight crack again. I'm going to get rid of the four. There are two eight. eight. Oops, I guess I wasn't fast enough. Oh, shoot. Oh, that seven dot pung. That destroyed my hand. We're going to need two more jokers now. Nine Minimum. Oh, painful. Pung. Okay, so they need, oh, they need sevens too. We're in each other's business. All right, let's see what happens. It's not, it's not over yet. There's still, there's uh, still some potential here. One character. Uh, <laughs> yes, Janet, the euphoria has been diminished, reduced greatly. Chrysanthemum. Uh, it was coming together pretty nicely, though, don't you think? Ah, well. Chrysanthemum. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five more picks, and we have three discards. Technically, the hand is still viable. We need, oh, there's a winner right over there. Okay, let's see what they got. We have uh, big odds with dragons concealed. Very nice. Okay, self-picked. That was lucrative. All right, let's see. We have Laurel here was playing five, seven, nine, five, seven. Yeah, of course I had her sevens, so that was going to be uh, difficult to get. And then Ms. Travelbug, Tammy, she was playing uh, two, four, six, eight. Couldn't get six spams. Looks like she was trying maybe for either the concealed two, four, six, eight hand, the last one under two, four, six, eight, or the first one with flowers. I think the flowers might have been a little hard to come by. There were three in the um, other player's hands, and there were two through four out. So she might have been trying for the concealed hand, especially because she was not claiming any discards for the eight bam. There was one eight bam out. So that kind of concludes the last game for the live stream. Uh, let's see, Peg, uh, of all the tiles in the world, what? What did I miss? Did I miss something? Need to say good night. Yes, me too, Alieska. Okay, thank you, everybody, for coming. I had a great time, as always. I appreciate the camaraderie, the comments, um, even the constructive criticism, the help. 
all of it has been fabulous and the super chats really really generous and uh, very encouraging thank you so so much and if you're watching the live po uh, the repost I hope you enjoyed this live stream if you ever want to come live we are on live Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time so uh, you're welcome Shirley thank you so much and I'm very glad that y'all like the live streams we'll keep doing first and third for American style and we'll add MCR in the fall to the fifth Sundays I'll look at my calendar and see when the next fifth Sunday is we just had one last month so I think uh, it's gonna be a little while so anyway if you liked this live stream give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing that way oh the bell the bell the bell don't forget to click the bell because then you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next live stream may all your picks be keepers <laughs>